State corrections workers were already facing 12 furlough days between March and June. With this week's announcement of double the expected budget cuts, the Department of Corrections is scrambling to make cuts of more than $50 million to its budget. Agency Director Justin Jones says those cuts seriously threaten his ability to protect the public and employees, prevent escapes, and get prisoners ready to successfully re-enter society. All of that would be compromised if I were to take employees off of their post or if I reduced my levels or added furlough days. So those are off the table. DOC has taken in 500 new offenders since July 1st. That means even with no recession, the agency would run a deficit of $10 million. That also means parole officer positions are going unfilled, effectively leaving parolees unsupervised in their communities. Some facilities will close, which could lead to more overcrowding. In addition, almost all education and reentry programs are being eliminated. I realize eliminating those programs really is shooting yourself in the foot and you're going to increase the recidivism rate. However, you have to balance that between cutting correctional officers and staff that's going to keep people from escaping. We are asking for a major incident and, and, and it could happen sooner rather than later uh, that you have a situation where we already have inmates getting killed, where we could have staff getting killed. Representative Randy Terrell chairs the House Appropriations and Budget Public Safety and Judiciary Subcommittee. He suggests saving money by offering DOC employees the option of deferred annual leave instead of furloughs and by offering early retirement to eligible employees instead of reductions in force. Justin Jones says those solutions alone will not fix the DOC's budget crisis, but that sentencing reform has that potential. If we were the national average on women, we would release over a thousand women today. If we were on the national average for men, we would release eight to nine thousand inmates today. And the reason that that's that way, the data says that we incarcerate a lot of people that in other states would be sentenced to treatment would be sentenced to alternative programming. But sentencing reform must come from lawmakers, and many of the proposals for expanded drug courts and alternative sentencing faces an uphill battle. Representative Terrell argues sentencing reform is also not an immediate solution. None of the proposals that have been put on the table uh, produce immediate savings for the Department of Corrections uh, that would address what I consider to be the imminent problem facing us this spring. Um, they may very well end up producing some longer term savings. That's why I said we ought to look at them. Terrell also suggests the state budget cuts could get worse. He says if the cuts are annualized at 10 percent, agencies will in effect be forced to trim 15 percent from their budgets for the remainder of the fiscal year. In Oklahoma City, Lori Rasmussen, The Oklahoma News Report.